Okay, the people's equation is an equation that allows us to only learn one formula instead of one for the three poles, one for the double star, one for the six poles, one for the bridge rectifier, which is a six poles. Then we get a 12 poles. We also get a 24 poles and a 48 poles and a 96 poles. It doesn't matter what poles number they use. This p poles equation is generic, so you can apply it for every one of them. You only have to identify the pulse number. Identify the maximum voltage of the sine wave. Whether it's a line or a phase voltage that you're talking about. And in the end you have the equation that will give you the relationship between the average and the maximum value. So, if we look at this waveform here, if I show you this one that is not dotted, you can see that it is a three poles equation. Do you agree? One thing that I already see that you have noticed is that something has happened to the sine here. The sine wave has become a cosine wave and our zero has shifted to the middle. But the only difference between a sine and a cosine wave is 90 degrees. The area under a cosine or a sine is exactly the same. So if we would now go and look at this point here, you'll see that since this is pi over 6, this will be pi over 3, but in the negative direction. Do you agree? On, in that direction, if I look at that one, it will be pi over 3. Now, the dotted one that I put in here, is what we would get if we have a six pole thing. And now the limit now there is defined by minus pi over six. And the limit at that point there is defined by pi over six. So if I would have said pi over p and pi over p, where p is the pulse number, then No problem. Do you agree? The limits are now described according to the pulse number. Are you with me? So I'm going to have to remove that one there and I'm going to remove that there so that now that I've convinced you that that and that is good enough, we can carry on. Now, <coughs> the period is defined from where the wave shaft does the same action again. So it starts at 0, 0,5, goes positive, ends at zero, comes to 0, 0,5, and then goes positive again. So this is the period. Now P will be equal to pi over P minus the minus pi over P. And that will give us pi over P minus, minus is a plus, pi over P which gives us 2 pi over p. Is everybody happy with that one? Now, in order to determine the area here underneath the graph, we have to use the formula for average. And V average is our VDC is equal to 1 over T of the integral between 0 and T of VT DC. Now you've got your period. It's 1 over 2 pi divided by P. The integral is from minus pi over P up to pi over P. And the waveform is V max cos omega T D omega T. Now, the V max is a constant, so it goes to the front, and the T here comes from the bottom to the top, so we have V max over 2 pi, and the integral of cos omega T is sine omega T, and the limits are minus pi over P, and 
phi to the p. Therefore, it is equal to p v max over 2 pi, and it is the sine of phi over p minus the sine of minus phi over p. Now when we go to the unit circle, what do we see? We see that 0, phi, phi over 2. Now let's say that phi over p is lying there. And minus phi over p is lying in this direction. And when we were still young, they taught us all sin, sand, cos. So the magnitude of phi over p is positive, and the magnitude of minus phi over p is negative. Therefore, I can say, but the sign of minus phi over p is equal to minus the sine of phi over p. Do you agree with that statement? So the minus that one gives me this one. Therefore, I can apply it here and I can say p times v max over 2 pi and it is the sine of phi over p minus the minus sine of phi over p. Minus times the minus is a plus. Therefore, we can say that it is p times v max over 2 pi times 2 times the sine of pi over p. Those two cancel, and therefore we get it it is equal to p times v max over pi sine of pi over p. And there is the p-pulse equation. Now let's test it. We now know already, we have done before, what is uh, three poles. So, if P is equal to three, then we say V B C is equal to three V max over pi the sine of pi over three. Now, the sine of pi over three is sixty, and so that is three V max over pi, and this one is the square root of three over two, or zero point six six. So our answer is 3 square root 3 V max over 2 pi. And you can compare that with what we have already derived. If P is equal to 6, VDC is equal to 6 times V max over pi, the sine of pi over 6. The sine of pi over 6, the sine of 30 degrees is 0, 0,5. 